Right, so here uh, we have a problem with Amy. So let me show you. So here we have implemented a wobbling effect here using camera shakes and if I shoot you can see the radical the scope is moving away but still if I continue to shoot you can see it's not the place pointed by the middle of the scope is getting hit it's the it's still the previous position see so right so the reason is uh, I think it would be more clear if I go to a place like this see now I should have shot somewhere else uh, but it's not actually the middle of the score so the reason is this let me open my player character here we are using this get target location uh, and using this we calculate the hit point in the gun let me open the gun blueprint as well guns pp gun here under fire we have emit bullet and this emit bullet use uh, this get target location function from the character to get the target location as we seen through the camera and use it as the end point and use another line trace starting from the nozzle of the gun towards the point that we get from the character to detect the actual hit point right we explain i explained this in earlier episode but the problem is here uh, we get the control rotation of the player controller and get the forward vector and also uh, and using this and using the location of the camera we calculate uh, the by doing another line trace we calculate the target location this only works correctly when there are no camera shakes involved but when there uh, when we have a camera shake this camera location or the control rotation is not affected by the camera shake so because of that even if i have an offset in the aim due to the camera shake i still get the same location as before oh, wait. same location as before when i shoot again see that's why i keep hitting the same location closer and we get some offset because i because of the recoil effect i have added some rotation pitch input upwards so that's why the hit point keep moving forward right anyway to fix that what we have to do is we have to consider the offset caused by the camera shake as well so for that uh, we can't actually rely on this camera location or the control rotation so what we have to do is we have to get the middle point of the viewport and do a d project screen to the world and then we can or then only we can figure out the actual position represented uh, that matches with the middle of the scope so we can use this D project a screen to world and here as the player I'll get player control and screen position this should be the middle of the uh, middle of the viewport so get viewport size 
we have size x and y so let me divide this by 2 and split this x is this y is this right right now uh, instead of the camera position we can um, we can use this world position and instead of the forward vector we can use the world direction that we get from this D project screen to world node. Right now, let's test. See, now we get the correct location. Even with the camera shake, our aiming is working. We hit the correct location, the middle of the reticle. All right. So that's what I wanted to fix here. And thanks for watching. So I'm going to stop this episode here. And as always, the project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. See you in another episode. In the next episode, I am going to continue with the bullet camera and continue to improve that. Goodbye.